Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Vintage Story 118.5 Modded. I was gonna stay up through the night. I decided to sleep instead, which I didified and... Uh, let's see. We have our ingots. I don't know if we're going to need both of them or not, but we're going to set up like we do, because I would like to make a scythe. I would, I would. I would like to make a scythe. Uh, actually, I'll hold on to that in case we need more of it, but let's go ahead and get these placed in here. And get that in our right hand. Going to need some fire to wake this on up. And I'm going to need to go ahead and grab our tongs here. Where are you, tongs? Uh, tong. Tong. Thank you. And get that in this hand. Um, let's get this lit. Um, I've got a lot of grass to cut because we've got animals to feed, and I've been very remiss when it comes to all of that. Um, you know, they ended up volunteering into our one area, and I think I need to make a little area with nesting boxes for our pheasants and have a size so that I can remove substantial amounts of grass to feed our Arox and oh good okay wasn't sure if I'd done more of that or not but so we're gonna make a sickle blade I do need to eat but I'm hoping we can get through this before having to make the trip to the kitchen about nine o'clock in the morning here. That uh, should be good right there. Sickle. No, that's a fox head. Spava. Naganata. Scythe. There we go. Let's make this happen. This being one of the things that I simply have not forged before. I'm not sure whether we can get it out of one ingot or not, which is why I made sure and heat two ingots. to rotate it around, set this to a down pole, come on, there we go, go I believe that that's the business right there let's go ahead and do our cuts I always clear the top layer first because it can be a little deceptive as to what needs to be removed in the lower layers layers with uh, the outlines of the cubes there we go excellent glad I didn't have to do two of them in here 
and boom, there it is. Where are you, sickle? There you are. Let's go ahead, chuck it in our quenching tank. Beauty. Woo, that's warm. And I want to make some shears. Go and toss that in there. Good deal. With the shears, we're going to be able to make parchment with uh, small skins, which we're probably going to have to do some bunny hunt hunting to do that. And it will also allow us to shear sheep and things like that. So they're just handy and I've been meaning to make a pair so we're just gonna hang those up let's get our little extra bits tucked away here there we go let's see these are medium actually I think there might be a mod that allows us to uh Cut like a medium hide into two small hides and a large hide into like three small hides or something like that. But I, I would really like to get more of the uh, parchment lanterns. Uh, so happy to have this sorted out. Alright, let's go get some food in our belly. We have begun the evil noises. I'll go back and get things put away as is appropriate in the smithy, but I could tell it was about to go ballistic, so that'll at least hold me through for a minute. Actually, I think I've got another one in there. Let's do it. There we go. Beauty. And there's even one left over there. I don't, You know, that's the thing I don't think um, that Midwesterners and Southerners say. But growing up in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, like right up on the Canada border, um, some of our slang came from Canada. And as we used to say, beauty, beauty, eh? Let's get these back up on the wall. Ching. And I think we're going to carry our, our hammer and our chisel with us. Okay. I think I think we're solid for a minute. Wait, what do we have over here? That is an adds and an X. Hammer, wood splitter, shears, pickaxe, tongs. Okay. Tong. Probably need an ore expedition here in the very near future. But I want to use this. Go out there and cut up. Big old crap load. I think it's right click to um, just do normal cutting. Or maybe it's left click to do normal cutting and right click permanently removes grass. Let's see. Yeah. So, left click. 
harvest a big bunch of grass. And right click, I thought, permanently did that. Yeah, that is just so much easier. But I was pretty sure that right click permanently removed. Huh. I guess not. This is going to ensure we can feed the aurochs. I haven't been down in the cave to see if we still have ocelots down there. Yeah. Yes, we do. You are okay, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, they are. Awesome. Good, good. I do want to tame them, tame them eventually. But I just figured, get them down in there. Is it shift right click? I don't know if you guys have ever seen somebody who's skilled with a with a scythe actually working, but it's really cool. All right, all right. Let's get you guys fed. There we go. Nesting box. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's just boards and dry grass. Let's make a couple of nesting boxes for our for our pheasants. We'll make four of them. Relax, little birds.
Oh, hey, now that wasn't polite. Stop that. I'm trying to get you cover from the rain and you're going to poke me with your horns? How rude. I'll have to cut some more oak. Let's get you some more hay. How wood. And I think once we get that started, I should be able to run the birds down to the other end, run a, uh, a fence across. But yeah, that's just so much faster for gathering grass. So it's been a bit since I put up a seven days to die, and that is because my save got corrupted. Oh, and I still haven't done the inside rails. Okay, we'll get to that. We will get to that. Uh, go this way. Looks like our bees are happy. Let's see, this one, this one, yeah. Let's grab some more oak logs. Leave those eight, grab these two, put those in there. Well, not that one, though. And we'll see if we can get our animal area sorted out. Oh, get in there. There we go. Very nice. Bunch of those. It's going to be uh, really interesting to see what my wife, Ericeth, does when it comes to this castle. Um, so if you're not familiar, uh, me and my wife, the Lady Ericeth, have um, been playing a co-op game, and we ended up finding one of these castles right off the bat at a great spawn. I'm just curious to see, do I have any of our fences hiding out in any of this stuff here? Our extras. Those are oak slabs. Yes. Okay. I wanna. I, I try to keep just a few of whatever, just uh, hanging out, so that in an emergency I can go. Oh wait, I can go grab a couple of those. You know. But no, I don't think I have any fences. Let's, what do I have here? Green marble, granite, marble. Granite marble. That is our rot. And that is red clay brick. And these, yay, our compost is done. It takes like 20 days or something, so I forget it's there. But that'll help us beef our garden soil back up come spring. Because winter's on its way. No doubt about that. I had more of our fence pieces uh, our wicker fence not, i thought ah there we go i don't need many i just need enough to to seal it off and there we go there's a gate perfect let's go 
at least to a basic level, get our animals taken care of. Get them sheltered from the weather and... 1,800 hours already? Yeah, it's sun setting earlier. Sun is setting earlier. Alright. Well, hello. Could I get you to drop in there? No? Okay. We want all of them to run down to the other end. So, oh, now, behave yourself. That was very impolite. That will keep them all there. And we'll need to get a fence in. I think we'll do it right there. I mean a gate, not a fence. There we go. That should have them sorted out. You stay in there. You're not going anywhere. You're, I want you to make babies. Hmm, one of our arcs is missing. Alright, so let's uh, grab this entire stack here. And I'm going to drop them in a second time so that they orient horizontal. Excuse me? Dude. That is a dire wolf. Don't know if he went down or not. We'll know soon enough. I'm open. There's been no further sign of him, so I think he went down. Nothing too fancy here. Eventually, we will actually... Uh, complete this so that it's sealed and warm for them but for the moment we're just going to get them a roof alright here we go yep there he is Mr. Big Scary I have no idea what he was doing here. Oh, now, gentlemen, you really, you're going to be that guy? you little bastard. Think so, jackass? Well, at least we're working towards killing our 30 bad guys. We 
We're supposed to kill 30 of them. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I I really wish that they would revamp the uh, combat system in this game because it is just so lacking. It is so poor. The bows are a a joke. The armor is absolute crap. You cannot melee without being almost guaranteed to exchange hit for hit. There's no way to advance your skill, no way to in any way mitigate that, except for a shield that really doesn't do anything. You know, I mean, yeah, it stops a tiny bit of damage if you crouch and basically slow yourself to a standstill while you use it. You know, if there was one thing in the world that I would request, the first would be um, a setting where we could turn off these stupid voices. Mm -hmm. uh, it is too a stupid voice. Don't blow me any crap. And then the second thing is for some sort of pass on the combat to make it viable. I mean, oh my god. Makes me nuts. All right, you calm down. They're not going to get you. You are safe in here. It's why I built it. All right. Oi, you, calm down. Calm down. All right, so we're at 16 of 30 drifters, 8 of 10 gathered meat, no vegetables or grain. Of course, we don't have any vegetables or grain out here to gather. Um, and aren't are not placing the farmer workstations till we get the fields done down below here. I don't have any healing on me. Nope. None at all. But, yeah, I everything about this game is wonderful. I absolutely love it, except for the the starvation voice thing um well the random screen movement when we're heavily injured and the combat system you know just just give us something classic right right click block left click hit and i mean how hard is that i have been tempted to uh, get into vintage story modding just to try to do something about some of these things. All right, well, let's see where these jackasses have got themselves to. I need to harvest my birds. You get out of there. Excuse me, can I please harvest my bird? The hell? We also need to take all. Enough with your aimbot bullshit. Uh, 
enough with your aimbot bullshit. I rest my case. You know, you're starting to really piss me off. Because he can just magically resist three bronze arrows at point blank range, you know? Because why not? Dude. Of crap. And here we go with the random screen movement. from using the language that I want to use. <laughs> Our knife is broke now, so... But yeah, I hate this. Really and truly I do. care about your stupid bones. Improvements to the healing system, we need improvements to combat, we need improvements to archery, we need the ability in the settings to turn off this stupid random movement bullshit and to turn off the voice response to being hungry. Because this is utterly freaking ridiculous. Still haven't befriended our puppy and kitten yet. But look at this nonsense. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know what they were thinking. And I thought I made a brand new bow. Where the Sam Hell is it? See, our bow stave is not up there. In fact, I'm absolutely certain I made a new bow. I guess maybe when I thought I was putting the backup bow, i.e. our old bow, down in the kitchen that in actuality I was putting the brand new bow that is the only explanation I have yep that is exactly what I did okay at least the bow exists. <laughs> oh, let's see. We could do one round of brain tanning if we are so inclined. Well, let's uh, 
Oh, you best not be in my larder again. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so my basic per my basic perspective is this if you're going to give us an effect that at low health is going to interfere with our ability to do anything um and generally be a giant pain in my ass, then give me a combat system stable enough so I have at least some chance of not ending up in this state constantly. Okay, make armor that actually does its job. Make the shield system something that works on a left-click, right-click basis, like every other game out there that has a, a weapon and shield, you know? I mean, sorry, sorry to sit here and and me, 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 about this all, but it truly is something that chaps my behind in a way you cannot even possibly imagine. And our um, cooperative playthrough that I'm doing with my wife Ericeth, I have been literally standing as close to a mob as I am to the wall right here, and shot multiple times using the starter bow and flint arrows with feathers and missed three, four, five, six, eight shots in a row. It's like, what are you thinking? And it's like I say there, the bow does not determine the accuracy. The arrow and the archer do. You can have a pretty wiggly ass bow and still shoot straight with it if your arrows are good. You know? So, the idea that for, for some reason, magically, mystically, the recurve bow and metal-tipped arrows somehow mystically shoot more accurately than the starter bow does is nonsense. Take the time to... to study what it is you're presenting in your game. You took the time to, to study making iron with a bloomery. You took the time to study pickling vegetables. You took the time to study all these different things. But then when it comes to bows and combat, what, you just didn't bother? And Tyron knows who I am. Um... You know, we, we, me and my, my wife worked on the wiki. We did tutorial videos that for quite some time were the tutorial videos on the wiki. And Tyron and, and, his, uh, and his sweetie, they know who we are. So Tyron also knows that I'm outspoken about these things. But come on, man. You, you are alienating a portion of your player base. People like me that are archers and snipers in almost every game that we play. You know? Just, it shouldn't be up to the fan base to create a viable archery system. It shouldn't be up to the fan base to create a viable combat system. If your combat system fundamentally guarantees that for every melee hit you land, you are going to take damage. That's not combat. Okay, that's attrition. But enough carrying on about that. It's almost 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, we did get most of what I wanted to accomplish done. But we're rudely interrupted by butt munches so uh, do I wait for sunrise and keep going or do we call it an episode here I think we call it an episode here I'm going to sleep in the morning we're going to do some cooking and 
I don't think I have a single lick of healing anywhere. That's the other thing. Please, God, give us some healing. Really and truly. Frickin' poultices that heal three hit points apiece and don't stack their effects. Yeah. I'm sleeping so that I stop complaining. You guys have a good one. I'll see you in the next one.